Hi. After oscillation and light, electricity is another main type of experiments that they will actually ask. So we are going to go through 2016 paper. So hope this is helpful for you. All right. So this is the 2016 paper, electricity setup. It's pretty straightforward. The main challenge is that the circuit has only been partially set up. So the test is to see whether are you able to read a circuit diagram and translate it to actual apparatus for the setup. So the main video, that's the main skill we want to cover today. So we're going to strip everything down to show you how to connect everything from scratch. But before we start, let's just go through some of the connection tips first. First of all, from these symbols, you will know that this side of the battery is positive and this is negative. Okay, how do you connect to the emitter? Emitter also have negative and positive sign. So unlike battery, which you go plus minus plus minus plus minus, when you connect the connection to emitter to the cell, it has to be the same sign. So this side is negative. So this side of the emitter is negative. This side is positive. Same thing voltmeter. So if you trace positive, come down. So this side must be plus. This side must be minus. But no big deal. Sometimes even if you do it wrongly, you can still switch it around. Okay. The next thing is. Uh, the switch so this is one of the standard switches they use so when you connect switch please don't connect here and here then forever you'll be broken because <laughs> this is the part which is consistent so it's either you connect this side and this side or this side and this side so don't do this all right okay next is this one variable resistor okay this is the variable resistor that we have Alright, so I'm not sure that they will use this. Okay, but for this type of variable resistors, you connect uh, one wire to the boundary one, the one at the end, another one to the center. Then as you turn, send this will become a real set variable resistor. There's another type of variable resistor that looks like this. I will draw it for you. So, so basically it is a coil or wire over here and then there is a, a rod on the top and on the rod there is a slider so this type of variable resistor there are four knobs let's call them a b c d okay there are a few ways you can connect this you can connect one side to a and other side connect to d so when you connect it like that how electricity flow is that it's going to come here down go through this part so this part with all the wires this is your high resistance this one is your expressway so when you connect here to here the effective resistance is simply from here to here okay all right if you connect here b to c then your effective resistance is just this portion because it just goes through here Go through the highway okay if you connect a to c then you must well don't put resistor because it's just go through the whole expressway if you connect b to d you are going through the whole resistance your resistance is going to be fixed no matter what so make sure that you have an alternate setup okay all right now let's come to what we have let's switch over to the apparatus setup. cam so we have our row of batteries so the row of batteries here is slightly different from what is in the circuit diagram because you see on this far end is negative okay but because the terminal is on this side the other end is positive so that is the part that's different from the circuit diagram but no worries then we just adapt and we have emitter voltmeter jockey variable resistor and the switch okay and the nichrome wire so the first thing you do is that you place all the components of the circuit at the right place first. So place the emitter after the battery, then go down, you have the nichrome wire, right? Then after that, you have your variable resistor, followed by a switch, and the voltmeter and the jockey is a parallel circuit, so you just, you just put it at the bottom, okay? Then, right now, you connect the wires in a clockwise manner. Connect one end to the battery, so because that end is a negative terminal, so it's going to go to negative. Well done. And the other end is 
go go to nichrome wire just clip it at the end yep and go to the other end of the nichrome wire connect it go to the variable resistor so one side the at the side terminal and the other one at the middle terminal and go to the switch one at the side terminal take another wire she's going to connect to the middle terminal and then goes back to your battery so so right now over here you actually already have a closed circuit even without your voltmeter so you can actually do a test to see if everything is working well so she's going to turn on the switch all right turn the variable resistor see if she gets a reading see so you get a ring so you see as she turned the variable resistor okay let me put this closer and bring it closer yeah so as you turn the variable resistor so you are adjusting the the current yeah okay so you have to be careful the two term the two crocodile clips that are clipping to the variable resistor cannot touch each other if not it will skip the resistance so see as you turn yeah so half the job done okay now the voltmeter side which is a parallel connection so she's gonna switch off so go and connect to the crocodile clip so crocodile clip yeah so make sure that you don't clip the wire right okay so because it's positive at the battery side so she link to positive right the other end to the jockey go to the jockey so we're going to turn it on again to see if there's a reading on the voltmeter as she contact on the wire so there's a reading on the emitter all right so she's going to place the jockey on some part of the nichrome wire just touch any part so you see there's a reading all right touch a further somewhere further all the way let's say the full length of the wire voila all right so it's done so you see what's happening over here is that electricity is flowing like this okay so it is actually not going this way so when the contact wire connect here this is a parallel connection but we know that the voltmeter has very high resistance so there's no current that's flowing through here so consistently as long as your variable resistance is fixed at one point this current is not going to change much okay so that's the main gist of this experiment part two they are simply replacing a long wire just by adding a ruler so that you can measure the length but, but there's not much difficulty about that the main difficulty really is about the whole connection part so i hope this video is helpful for you so stay tuned to our next one hey thank you so much for watching the entire electricity practical i'm sure that you have learned a lot so especially how to position the emitter the voltmeter the different details so if you like the video remember to click like and don't forget to subscribe okay and check out our bio too